In Bending the Dark Revival's final chapter, Wilson's ultimate creation goes head-to-head -head with Audrey. As things begin to look really bleak for Audrey, the Ink Demon shows up to save the day. Or rather, evil smothers evil. But what if the Ink Demon showed up in the fight earlier? How would the game react if we forced Ink Demon Bendy to join the fight? And what if the Ink Demon lost? Well, here on Horoscopes, we do weird stuff like that. So if breaking games is your thing, subscribe now to see all our crazy videos. Now, before we add Bendy to this fight, let me do a quick recap. Because we'll be covering the final boss encounter, but also the final run that happens after this. When the player enters the room, they must first throw a switch in the center. Not long after this, Shipahoy Wilson emerges from the inky depths. This crazy pirate is a fusion between Wilson, his drawing of Shipahoy Dudley, and a crab. Audrey gets attacked a few times by the anchor, and then the fight starts. During the first phase, the player must power down four generators across the room. In order to do that, Shipahoy Wilson must be lured, so his anchor attack destroys the paneling. Once it's exposed, we must charge our gem pipe in the back and then power the machines down. Ship Ahoy Wilson will throw his anchor, but also gears at us. And after a certain number of generators are shut down, lost ones will swarm the map. After we clear of this section, Ship Ahoy Wilson will begin chasing after us with grab attacks. Audrey must evade them and wait until they topple over from the force of their own anchor. At this point, we can strike Wilson's face, and after several hits, we can then banish Wilson. This is when the Ink Demon comes in and finishes the job. Now that we're on the same page, let's rewind time and have Bendy join the fight. So the final chase segment when Audrey is fused with the Ink Demon actually happens right outside this boss fight room. So the first thing I need to do is punch a hole in the wall so that I can access the Ink Demon on the other side. So a hole is punched, and now I can walk through, and then this is when I activate Bendy from the final sequence. However, uh, Bendy is a very big boy, and he will not fit through the hole that I made. So I gotta shrink Bendy down to a tiny, tiny lad, so he'll fit through the hole. And now that Bendy is through, you'll notice that um, both Bendy and Audrey are both responding to my controller inputs. And by looking at the screen, you can tell that things are definitely messed up a little bit. So you got Audrey walking, you got the ink demon walking, and then you have the first person view of Audrey holding the pipe, like floating off in the sky. This is because Audrey's first person camera that's holding the pipe is actually applied to the active camera screen. So all of these things are messed up right now, but I'm going to fix them in a bit. So there's also another problem in this situation. For one, it's a bit tricky to get both characters to walk to where they need to go, but there's also a game logic issue. If Ink Demon Bendy is active in this form, that means all objects that are interactable, like any sort of switches and things like that, do not work. So we can't activate the switch that triggers the fight. So I have to restart. So this time I pull the lever and start the cutscene, and then I summon the big boy. And right away, I was actually surprised. I realized that Ink Demon Bendy can actually take damage from this boss. But seeing these two face off is actually kind of cool. They're both two similar sized monsters, and they're just staring at each other face to face. And if you think about it, Ship Ahoy Wilson as a package was made to defeat the Ink Demon once and for all. So this kind of feels like an alternative timeline. So Ship Ahoy Wilson's attacks do not stun the Ink Demon. However, Bendy does still take damage. He just happens to not flinch. In this instance, one-on-one, -on -one, the Ink Demon can't really do much. And this is because Ship Ahoy Wilson cannot be hurt by physical damage in this phase. And the Ink Demon cannot interact with the switches. So once again, we're in that weird soft lot situation. So I just sit here and continue to take damage, hoping that I'm going to actually die as the Ink Demon. And eventually I do. And this death is actually my salvation because this death triggers Audrey to respawn. And with her respawn, it is now two against one. With Audrey, I can actually run around and deactivate the generators. There is a catch though, however, because after each generator is powered down, the player switches from Audrey to the demon once again. And so this prolongs the fight and makes it so I have to die again with the demon. However, there's just something really, really cool about mowing down lost ones when you have such a big lad helping you out. What's interesting is Ship Ahoy will actually swap between attacking Audrey and the demon, specifically using his anchor at Audrey's location, but then tossing his giant gears at the ink demon's head. 
and trying to dodge these gears as the demon is uh, quite difficult. And this is because the tank controls of Bendy are really unforgiving when trying to dodge things. And so we push the fight further until we eventually exit the first phase. And now the final phase of the fight begins. And Shipahoy Wilson goes on the assault. And even though I'm up top safe with Audrey, the ink demon down below is taking damage from Shipahoy Wilson. But the ink demon is wailing on him. But all of a sudden, Shipahoy Wilson's AI just breaks. He freezes in place and he just no longer responds. No matter what I do, he will not move and I don't know why. I also can't die from running into him, which is kind of funny, but it's also concerning. So of course, I start thinking of ways that I could kickstart his AI to get it functioning again. And the only thing I can think of is respawning. So I forced myself to fall off the map, and when I respawn, um, actually, it kind of worked. Shipahoy Wilson started to chase after me once again. However, for some reason, he was not trying to punch me. He was just trying to walk over me and step on me. And at this point, there was nothing else I could do. So what do you do when you're faced with an invincible monster, and your methods for attacking are now zero? Well, you run. So I run for my life, and I nope the heck out of the area. I was hoping I could escape in those final long hallways that lead to the end of the game. However, Shipahoy Wilson had a different idea. Because he was not going to let me escape. And the boss actually followed me into this final corridor. So I'm just running through here. And I'm surprised because the walls actually break down if we just strike them with our pipe. Normally, you're a giant bendy and you're smashing these walls down. But apparently, Audrey has a very strong arm. And because I skipped the trigger that kicks off the cutscene that takes place in this area, well, there's no enemies. Only a crazy mutant pirate. And I have to say, watching Shipahoy Wilson climb out of the rubble in the darkness is truly terrifying. The boss's AI was actually working in this area, and he would follow me anywhere I went. And what made it more horrifying was the boss music was still playing. You know, that terrifying remix of Popeye the Sailor Man that just echoes as the fight goes on? It makes quite the chase music. Despite my best efforts, eventually I reached the end of the road. And even though there are no enemies in the other parts, we still have Tom, the Brute, and we have Allison up top, and there's a few different foes here. However, both Shipahoy Wilson and Ink Demon Bendy also arrived here as well. And so I'm trying to get away from this mutant Dudley, and I climb up on top of this pipe, and I realize that there is no way to end this. The end of the game does not trigger, and I'm basically stuck here with this invincible monster. But yeah, that's what happens when you break the final boss fight in Bendy and the Dark Revival. I hope you enjoyed this bizarre video, subscribe if you did, and of course, I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers!